inhumane. So what we do is we chill the fleas to a certain low temperature, and uh, that prevents them from jumping around and being too active. They're a little on the low G side when they're cold, and so you can transfer them safely from container to container. Much more humane method, I believe. The particular breed we use is Pulex irritans, or common ho household flea. Uh, these are the fleas that made life very difficult for the miners uh, around the gold rush, and uh, a lot of California history has been uh, written about the biting qualities of the, uh, the flea. Uh, basically, they, uh, they eat blood. And um, to answer the question, yes, mine. Uh, no, I don't put them on my arm. Um, there's, uh, there's some kind of tiny, you see, parasites do have parasites, and they... Uh, they pick up these little things and uh, they can deposit them in your skin and, well, basically uh, it can make you irritated uh, the first time they bite you. From time to time, it's not enough to make me anemic, but uh, I, I, I draw a little blood and put it in the petri dish and uh, ring the dinner bell. Um, fortunately, fleas don't need to eat too often. All the way from California, here's Professor Hambach and his mysterious flea circus. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to behold a remarkable scientific exhibition the likes of which is rarely seen in this modern day and age. I refer, of course, to the singularly sensational flea circus. Oh, here he is, Bruno attempts to lift this American half dollar, which weighs in at a scant 10 grams, not very much weight for you or I, but to little Bruno here, it is the equivalent of lifting over 6,000 pounds. All right, if you watch right here, he's going to do that and flip it over face up. There he goes. One more time for this side over the room, you can see a little better. Once again, Bruno. Watch carefully as he ascends rung by rung. Drum roll, please. First rung. Second rung, third rung, and, oh dear, watch out. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Wesley. You would look Victor in his well-scrubbed little face mm -hmm. and say, fear not, Victor, I will catch you. Fear not, Victor, I will catch you. Very nice, and if you would also be so kind as to tickle him under the chin. That wasn't his chin, <laughs> Serena, but oh, he enjoyed oh, it sorry. very much, I assure you, yes. Now, if you would be so kind, is to hold this baseball glove and go out to where you were sitting before because this little fellow is going to be fired out of the muzzle of this cannon over the heads of the audience, like most of my show, and into your waiting baseball glove, uh, like so, and not in front of your nose because of the impact. Very good. All right. Uh, oh, don't want to put the camera there. It could be deadly. Scoot to the side. There we are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It takes a certain caliber of flea to be fired from a cannon. All right. Ten. Nine. Eight, you can help out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there goes Victor. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. And, yep. and, hot, hot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Victor and his assistant, Serena. <laughs>